This is the Donson Hampshire Earl Donson Bore entry 20-6. He's born the 20th day of July. This guy is sired by unknown soldier and out of a danger zone sow. Yeah, this this sow has done some really neat things for for the Donson. She would be a litter mate to the very popular Gilton <coughs> boar they had when the when the exposition was there at Indy a couple of years ago. I think Danner's got Danner's got both of those hogs. And then uh, in her gilt litter, she had the champion boar and gilt and the champion junior gilt at the Missouri State Fair there last fall. This I've been to Earl's several times, and I, in my opinion, I like this one as good as any boar I've seen at Earl's. This hog, he's in that grass. It's a little hard to tell. He's got great big, true square front feet with good toes. Boar's got bone. He's got extension up front. Um, and, and probably, in my opinion, as much true shape and muscle as, as any hog I've seen there at the Dotsons. He's got a big, big square hip. He's got a good hind leg in him. I, I like this boar pretty well. I mean, he's performed. He's grown. Um, I, this, is a, this is a very nice Hampshire boar. I think he offers some very good pieces. There's another family that uh, lives and breathes the breed they're in. Uh, Dotsons and, and Hampshires are synonymous with each other of, of being good, solid hogs year in and year out. Uh, again, this one has, has got, uh, I think, a good kind of a show ring look, too. I love this hog's skull, big forearm working in him, like his boxy center. That one there is going to give you some volume of center to, for making a really good show gilt. So, and still got a sharp, good kind of a look, but a stout kind of a look out of his front end. And being out of that unknown soldier hog there, the Macklemore hog that Mike's got that that hogs that hog gonna be heard from that yeah. there there's a lot of good good hogs coming out of that thing those hogs are designed right and this one here blending back through that uh, that old sow line that there at Dotson's uh, again combines a, a very three dimensional boxy kind of hog with some really true shape and really big set of bones. One of the things I really like and admire about Earl and Ed is they're not afraid to blend some of the old with the new. You know, they don't think there's just one way to do it, and that's the only way to do it. You know, let, let's keep doing it this way. It's the way we've always done it. That's not how those guys believe. They've they've blended some of the old with some of the new, and they've, they've got a little extra skeletal size in some of those hogs from some of those older line hogs, but they haven't been afraid to add some body and some dimension and some heaviness of structure to them. It's always one of my more one of my more interesting places to visit to to talk to Ed and Ed and um, Earl there and see what they're trying to do. This is 20-6 Dotson Hampshire's late July bore.